My name's Dennis Stewart. I work for the city of Alvarado in Texas. This right here is our polymer room. What we're doing today is uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit about getting rid of our microorganisms. What we do here, the first step, is we inject polymer and water, which in turn mixes with the microorganisms. What the polymer does, it's either positively charged or negatively charged, which in turn makes the microorganisms coagulate, which gets rid of the water. That's our pump coming on. You can see our polymer coming through. Then we gotta mix it with water. That's our water coming in. We gotta put water to it, because the polymer is so thick without the water, it will not run with the line and mix into our microorganisms in our pump room. And that's already preset. I mean, this, this pretty much basically runs itself. From here, it gets pumped. It, it flows into our pump room. From our pump room, it goes into the sludge boxes. We'll go down to the pump room and, and show you the process there. Okay, we talked about our polymer and water mixture. Here we're in our pump room where we actually mix the polymer water and our activated sludge. You can see down here, this PVC, this is where our water and polymer are coming through. From there, goes around and mixes downstream of the pump. Our activated sludge is coming in from this pipe, coming through the pump, coming up top, and mixes right through here. Our waste activated sludge come through here at about a one and a half percent. When it mixes with the polymer and water, it hits about two and a half percent. And from here, it pumps into our drying boxes. Now this is an indoor facility, so we do have heat in here. If you're outdoors, you do need heater trace insulation. Our next step, we go to our drying boxes. Okay, now we're at our, uh, our drying boxes. This right here is where our mixture of our uh, waste activated sludge, polymer and water come in. From here, they'll go into our boxes where they actually dewater and dry, and that's our final stage there. In the drying box itself, you've got a fine white mesh on each wall and one in the center column. Once you're pumping in there, the waste itself compacts and you have a supernatant up on top. Once we get enough of that supernatant on top, we pull the plugs and let that drain out. And we keep on doing that until it's, you know, we fill it up, let all that supernatant drain out. And what you want at the end is a dry, compacted sludge. From there, we get it hauled off site. A couple of important things you probably need to know is you need good drainage for these drying boxes for the supernatant. Uh, so it could return back to the plant for treatment. And you also need a tarp to put over it for rainy season. If it rains, you can cover it up and that'll help in the drying process and not get any more water in it. 